Hello everybody! In this lesson, we will study how to make brush properties like, for example, opacity, dependent on the stylus inputs, for example, pressure. First of all, let's pick B Airbrush Soft and let's open the brush editor. Here we have the opacity parameters. We can set the maximum opacity up here. As you can see, the pen settings are enabled. This graph shows that when the pressure is low, the opacity is low. And when the pressure is high, the maximum opacity is used. And there is an exponential increase between the two. We can change this curve by moving the control points around. Remember, you can add a control point by clicking once and you can remove a control point by dragging them off the graph area. We also have some handy presets curves we can use. I can also deactivate the pen settings entirely. Now the opacity is not affected by any of the inputs. So if we draw, the maximum opacity is used regardless of the pressure. We can do the same with flow and size. I haven't spoken about flow yet. Suffice it to say that flow is like having a ballpoint pen. If your pen is almost out of ink and the lines are very pale, that means that the flow is very low. If your pen is completely full and a bit broken and the ink flows out very uh, copiously, then the flow is high. In Krita, this is achieved by making the individual dabs transparent for low flow. We can set the flow of the pen here. And we can make the flow dependent on inputs like pressure by enabling the pen settings. Next, let's briefly look at size. First, let's switch the brush, brush to B Basic 5. Let's look at the strength variable. This shows the maximum size of the brush as a proportion of the tip size. Remember, we can set the tip size in the brush tip section. Here we see that the size of the brush depends on the pressure exponentially. If we push down very lightly, the brush is small. If we push down strongly, the brush size is large. We can tweak the shape of the pressure curve. Depending on this shape, the strokes will get a different feel to them. For example, a parabolic shape results in the stroke having thinner tails, while a linear shape results in more uniform lines. Or a shape like this results in strokes looking like this. Ok, that's all for now. We have learned that we can vary the opacity, flow and size depending on the pressure. The opacity, flow and size are called parameters, while the pressure is called a sensor input. Other parameters are listed here. We will be talking about these parameters in the next video. Other sensor inputs, which we can link, are here. We will also be talking about these in the next video. See you in the next lesson. Bye bye.